Just coming up on 8.30 Eastern right now, this is the status of the Pennsylvania Senate race. It's too early to call between Democrat John Fetterman and Republican Mehmet Oz. Uh, we're also looking at an Ohio Senate race uh, that is similarly characterized as too early to call between Democrat Tim Ryan uh, and J.D. Vance. I do have one interesting House race to tell you about uh, in Florida's 10th District. We're highlighting this race because Maxwell Frost is the projected winner here. He's the Democrat in this race. He's 25 years old. He is the first representative of Gen Z uh, to be elected to the United States Congress. He is 25, which means he was born in 1997, which I think <laughs> is mathematically impossible. It is. Uh, actually, you, literally. You, 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 you did not do that math right. I think no, you messed it up. No, I didn't do up. that math right. No. <laughs> no, but 81. You did. I I literally, you did. I'm joking. I literally have liquor older than him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go bad. A he's got a great story. He's a he's a march for, he's a march for our lives mm -hmm. guy who yeah. got you know radicalized by the by the Stoneman uh, Douglas shooting and um, he's he's an incredible kid and, 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 and young man. Well, and in an age of, of malaise and feelings like people have given up on the system, obviously there's another generation right behind. At 8:30 p.m. Eastern, we have just had one big poll closing in the great state of Arkansas. Uh, we've got a Senate race and a governor's race in Arkansas that we have been watching. And the NBC News election desk tells us at this hour, it is too early to call between incumbent Republican John Boozman and his Democratic challenger, Natalie James, although Boozman leads. And in the Arkansas governor's race, uh, that race is also characterized at this hour as too early to call although Republican Sarah Huckabee Sanders uh, is leading in this race against Democrat Chris Jones. This, of course, would be Sarah Huckabee Sanders taking the governorship of Arkansas, a job previously held uh, by her father, Mike Huckabee, uh, which is an unusual succession in American politics. But these things do happen. Not that unusual. I mean, Not father, unusual. To father to daughter in the father, same yeah. governor? Yeah. I don't know. Can don't we know. just talk about Maxwell Frost, though, again? I mean, it's like, <laughs> just for a second, because he, he yeah. just, we just, I just interviewed him when we were down in Orlando, and he actually experienced you know, gun violence in, in his own life in Orlando. And it's just this really dynamic young kid. He's going to be succeeding Val Demings um, in the United States, and he's going to be representing that same um, in Orlando yeah. area uh, in the House. And, and, you know, he is kind of the hope for what you could eventually develop in a state like Florida. Democrats are very hard to let go of Florida. They don't want to let it go. But he is one of those young activists in the state um, that is galvanizing around the issue of gun violence in a way that you're seeing that generation do. And that whole, you know, march for our lives, those kids, they really are the future. If there ever is a time when Florida will matriculate back to being sort of a normal political state and not just a far, far, far right state, which I think that's what it is right now, that generation will, will take them there. If you want to get the issues of climate change and gun violence to be national issues, a whole generation leading on, he is an avatar of yeah, that generation, yeah, especially is. coming from Florida, right? Yeah, this is how absolutely. you get those issues back to the top of the conversation. Yeah.